your mark. Get set. Go! once. Come on. Well, look at the big Olympic star sweating like a knock-kneed mule. Disgusting, Jess. You stink. Get over to the sink and wash yourself. And step on it. There's oatmeal scorching the bottom of the pot. Not again, Mama. I can't stand it, Mama. Make him get his smelly self out of here. Get up now, Jess, or you're gonna get a licking. And change those clothes. Yes, ma'am. I got plenty of chores needs doing around here after school. Better hurry, you'll miss the bus. It's your turn to wash, you know. It's not. I washed yesterday. Well, hurry up then. I don't have all day. Brenda, you let her finish. She is, Mama. And don't forget, Jess. You gotta clean up the yard after school. And you still gotta mend my clothesline. Do you hear me, Jessie? Yes, Mama. Well. Better hurry, you're gonna be late. Twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. I must be winning a popularity contest in the office. No one else has more than twenty-six students, and you, Leslie Burke, are my twenty-seventh. I don't know where I'm gonna put you. The four is okay. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to be any problem. Uh, over there by the wall, for now. Uh, short of knocking that wall down, it's the best I can do. I'm sorry. It's fine. I don't mind. It's okay. Bye. Uh, Jesse Ahrens and Bobby Gregg, would you pass out the math books, please? You are responsible for these math books. They're the only ones you're getting this year. Tonight, I'd like you to review pages 15 through 25. You covered this last year, but it's been a long summer, so I think we should start with a review.
in the room today? Think you can beat me? Maybe. What'd you do, practice all summer? What's it gonna hurt? You trying to take over, Jess? No, just try to do what's fair. Can I run? No girls allowed. You ain't scared to let a girl race you, are you, Vulture? You can run with us. Scotch. I won the heat. I want to run in the final. Girls aren't supposed to play in a lower field. Better get up there before one of the teachers sees you. But I want to run. You already, you already did. did. What's the matter? Scared to raise her? Too. Better get to it before your pa gets home. Pretty late for you to be milking, isn't it, son? Daddy, Daddy! Oh, <laughs> hello, princess. How are you hello. today? <laughs> I'm okay. Did you bring me a treat, did you? Oh, sorry, I didn't have time. Oh, Daddy, you promised.
the summer. You can practice because you're my best singers. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Bye. 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 Is there something I can do for you? It's for you. This is beautiful, Jess. Thank you. Do you really like it? I think you're very talented. Do you have more drawings? Some. May I see them sometime? No, they're not. I'd like very much to see them. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Reminds me of the music teacher at my old school. You know, we used to have music there three times a week. Not like once a week, like here. Three times a week? Yeah, we even had a special music room with all kinds of instruments. Piano, drums, stuff like that. Did your old school have a gym? Sure, most schools do. I really miss it. I'm pretty good at gymnastics. I guess you have a lot of friends there. Yeah. You must hate it here. Sort of. Hey, Leslie, why'd you move here? My parents are reassessing their value structure. What does that mean? They decided they were too hooked on money and success, so they bought the old farm and are gonna farm it. Think about what's important. You mean they want to live in that old place? Yeah, we used to live in an expensive modern high rise. They can't make a go of a farm nowadays. My dad has to go to the city and work or we wouldn't have enough money. Money's not the problem. Sure it is. Uh, I mean, not for us. It is dark, but the sun filters through the water, making the colors of the fish and coral sparkle like diamonds. Some people think it's scary underwater, but to me, it's beautiful. One of the most beautiful places in the world. I read this composition aloud for two reasons. One, it is beautifully written. And two, scuba diving is an unusual hobby for a girl. Thank you for sharing this with us, Leslie. And tonight, for your homework, there's going to be a special on TV about a famous underwater explorer, Jacques Cousteau. I want everyone to watch it and then write one page telling me what you learned. A whole page? Yes. Does spelling count? Yes. Uh, one side or two? One. What if you can't watch the program? You tell your parents it's a homework assignment. I'm sure they won't object. What if you don't have a TV? <laughs> oh, well, in that case, one could write a one-page composition on something else. Well, what's wrong? If it just kept quiet, you could have come to my house and watched TV. You gotta come back to your regular seat, Leslie. The seventh graders are gonna get you for sitting back here. Move, kid. Didn't I say move, kid? 
You better move, Leslie. It doesn't look like there'll be enough room for you and Janice. She needs a lot of room. You're standing in my way. I sit here. Remember that. Weight Watchers is waiting for you, Janice. You're asking for it, Jess Aarons. She's going to get you for that, Jess. Boy, she's mad. Heck, you think I'm going to let some dumb cow like that scare me? My dad, Bill, has this thing for living in the country. But Judy, she doesn't like to stay in a place for too long. So... Guess it must be tough if you're always moving from one place to another. It can get to be a drag. My mom and dad have never moved. Unless you put the TV someplace else. <laughs> they watch a lot of TV? Yeah. Sometimes they come here just to get away. And when you have three sisters, someone's always yelling. But it must be fun. Are you kidding? They're always snooping into your stuff, going into your stuff. Just the other day, I went into the kitchen. Brenda and Maybelle had found some of my pictures. They were sitting there, staring at them, laughing. They're just some stupid pictures, no big deal. They had no right to laugh at them. Sisters do stuff like that. You're lucky being an only child. I don't know. At least you don't have anybody nosing into your stuff. You know what we need? We need a place just for us. It might even be a whole secret country. And you and I would be the rulers of it. Okay, but where? Over there, in the woods. Where no one could come and find us. Over there? Mon, it could be a magic country. Oh, come on, there's nothing to be afraid of. No one will be able to find us. How are we gonna get over there? I've got an idea. Hurry up. to think these woods were haunted. They are. They are? Don't be scared. They're not haunted with evil things. How do you know? You can just feel it. Listen. This is not an ordinary place.
think this will be a good place to build. Sure. No one can know about it or it won't be special. Cross my heart, it'll be our secret. If you're going to be the king of Terabithia, you must hold the queen's hand. Of what? Terabithia. That's what we shall call a magical kingdom. As ruler, do you promise to keep our kingdom sacred and protect the magical spirit of our land? Yes. What was that name again? Deaf when he wrote this? Deaf? Yeah. How do you hear it? He heard it. In his head. You know, some people don't like Beethoven. I think it's fantastic. Come on, sit down. Make yourself comfortable. By the way, I'm Bill. I'm Leslie's dad. Just Aaron's. Yeah, I know. Leslie's told me a lot about you. She has? Mm hmm Hi. Hi. Bill, are you ready? Let's get going. I'll see you later. You got everything you need? Yeah. OK. It was nice meeting you, Mr. Bill. And the feeling's mutual, Jess. Now, listen, you kids have a good time. Be careful. We will be. Judy will be home around 6.30, and I'll be serving supper at 7. I'd like you home by then. OK, see ya. Bye. Does he do the cooking? Sure. Why? Because he likes to. And Judy doesn't get home from work until late. And even when she didn't work, she didn't like to cook. What did you do? It ate out a lot. That's when Bill was working late. Doesn't he work? He's writing a book. I mean, real work. That yeah, is. Oh. Why do you call them that? Who? Your parents. Why do you call them Bill and Judy? Because that's their names. Oh. I always have, since I was a kid. I thought everyone did. I said I can't. I bet you can. In case we're under siege, we'd better find a safe place for our supplies. How about we put them under the quilt in the back? Good idea. Wait, we need them for the celebration. Celebration? The coronation of the king and queen of Terabithia. Oh. The king and queen must be crowned. Come on.
crown you king of Terabithia. And I crown you queen of Terabithia. Jess, may I speak with you for a second? Yeah, sure, yes then. You said you were going to bring some drawings in, did you remember? Yes, ma'am. Well, may I see them? They're not very good, I'm sure. I'm sure they're very good. I had your other picture framed. You did? I mean, you did. Yes, and I enjoy it very much. I think you're extremely talented, Jess. Jess, I've got to talk to you. Oh, in a minute. These are terrific. They're OK. They're... They are terrific. <laughs> May I keep this? Sure, if you want. Jess, have you ever been to an art museum? No. I think you'd enjoy it. Maybe we can go sometime. Okay, great. Jess! What's so wrong? Hey, I'm coming. gonna get him back. Then Twink is a well on the way to patting Janice Avery's bottom. You just yell her, Jess Aaron. If he picks a fight with Janice Avery, you know perfectly well what's gonna happen. Yeah, she'll beat him up. He'll get kicked out of school. You know how Mr. Turner is about boys who fight with girls. Janice, he stole my Twinkie. I'll get her, I promise. What you gonna do? I don't know. It'll take a lot of planning. But we'll get her. Ain't as good as seeing her beat to a million pieces. Dear Janice. No, dearest Janice. She's gonna eat it up, trust me. Dearest Janice. Maybe you won't believe me, but I love you. Ugh. If you say you do not love me, it will break my heart. So if you love me... Hold it, I can't write that fast. Meet me behind the building after school. Love and kisses, Willard Hughes. Kisses? Yeah, kisses. Put a little wall of X's in there, too. Two more. Gee, pretty good at that. Yeah, you probably had some big secret love at your old school. Gonna kill you, Jess Aaron. <laughs> hey, girl, you kill a king of Terabithia, and you're in big trouble. Trouble. Just hurry. Which one is it? The one with the apple now. Hurry. Are these puppies really free? If you promise to give them a good home, they are. I promise. Jess, Jess, I've got to talk to you. What's wrong? Janice Savory's in the bathroom crying. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. She's crying. It's got to be our fault. I didn't think that letter would upset her so much. 
Well, you're the one that's always telling me I gotta care. But Janice, Avery? The thought of her crying makes me feel terrible. It's a very complicated situation. I can understand why Janice doesn't get along with people. Oh. What happened? Did you know her father beats her? Lots of kids' fathers beat him. No, I mean really beats her. The kind of beating they take people to jail for. Was she crying just because her father beats her? No, she gets beaten up all the time. She wouldn't cry about it, especially at school. Then why was she crying? Her father gave it to her good this morning, so she told her so-called friends Wilma and Bobby Sue about it. Yeah? And they blabbed it all over the seventh grade. Even the teachers know about it. That's awful. Poor Janice. Everyone knowing about it. I tried to make her feel better. I told her about not having a TV and how everyone laughed at me and how it pretended it didn't bother me and ignore them. Did she feel better? I think so. You know what? Thanks to you, I now have one and one half friend at school. Listen here, Maybelle. I catch you following me again, and your life ain't worth nothing. I want to tell Mama Warren you for talking so mean. You better not. You can't tell nobody nothing. What if I do? I'll tell Billie Jean Edwards you still wet your bed. You better not. Girl, you just better not try me. Do you swear on this holy Bible you will never follow me again? Okay. Cross your heart and hope to die? Cross my heart and hope to die. Remember, you swore on the holy Bible, and you know what that means. Take it away and drink it. We're not gonna drink it, we're gonna put it on this wonderful porch. Wonderful porch, smart, yes. smart. I hate the yellow. Oh, why does it make yellow? It's a lemon! Well, it's a, you, where'd you buy it on sale somewhere? Come on, this is an expensive thing. What, $2.99? Look, you got five dollars worth of it. Yeah, but well, you're gonna have ten. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? You wanna blend in with the Yeah! You wanna be the invisible yellow girl? You want your <laughs> Come on, pay the porch. Pay the porch, okay. Pay the porch. <laughs> He's for you. For me? Yeah, he was free to a good home. And I thought no one could give him a better home than you. Oh, thank you. I've never had a dog before. Bill, can I keep him, please? Please. We have a dog. Of course we have a dog. Hello. Don't touch him. You'll get him all yellow. Hello there. Hello. Mm, thank you. I'm tired of standing like this. Can't you finish tomorrow? How am I going to finish it if you only stand still for 10 minutes at a time? Tomorrow's Saturday. We'll have all day. Yeah. I want to see it. Nope, not till it's finished. Let me see it. I want to know. I want to see it.
want to see it. Telephone, Jeff. Jeff, telephone. Betches his girlfriend. Hello? Miss Edmonds. your mom let you come today. Oh, I forgot to call. Oh, never mind. I like this one. Yeah. Do work for the prince today. And for you. Wear a hat. I lost mine. Wear mine. It's over by the front door. Okay. Oh. Don't groan. <laughs> See you later. Listen, Judy's working late tonight. So I thought we could go into town for dinner. Maybe see a show? Yeah, okay. It's great. All right. See ya. So long. Bye. Oh, and be nice to Prince. Jess, I'm getting soaked. You know, you could be a famous artist one day, Jess, and maybe have a painting in a place like this. I don't know, but being here with you is fun. Yeah, for me too. Mama thought you were dead, too. Leslie's a real good swimmer. She wouldn't drown. She fell off this tree you kids were using across the creek. They think she must have hit her head. I'm real sorry, boy. No. I don't believe you. You're lying to me. You lie! Leslie ain't dead! She ain't dead! Jess! Jesse!
Lord knows, huh? She's not dead. She can't be dead. It was an accident. It's all my fault. It's all my fault she's dead. I hate her. I hate her. I wished I'd never seen her in my whole life. Not your fault. It's all my fault. I was supposed to meet her and I didn't. <laughs> It wouldn't have happened. Leslie would still be... Hey, Jess. You can't blame yourself. It's not your fault. <laughs> but I hurt so bad inside, Daddy. I know. I hurt too. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> We talked back home. I didn't mean that about hating her. I know you did, son. Do you know what we need? We need a place just for us. I really like it here. Jess, this is not an ordinary place. Like some breakfast. I have to milk Miss Bessie. It's all right. Your daddy's already milked her. Last night? He took care of her. If Jimmy had a diet, I wouldn't be able to eat a bite. Shut your mouth, Brenda Aarons. Well, it's true. I'd be crying my eyes out. Boys ain't supposed to cry, are they, Mama? Shut up, both of you, and get out of here now. No attention to him. Just, just finish eating. Your father and I figured we'd, uh, we'd go down and pay our respects. I think it would be fitting for you to come, seeing you was the one that really knowed the little girl. What little girl? Thank you for coming. All right. You must be Jess. As they told me. I'm sorry. if it wasn't for you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for being such a wonderful friend. Hi, Sasha. 
I know how it feels, Jesse. When I was about your age, my brother was killed in a car accident. I thought my life would never be the same. And it wasn't. You know, sometimes when I'm at the movies or I'm watching something funny on TV, it's like he's there laughing with me. I miss her. And you'll never stop missing her. I know you're not gonna believe this, Jesse, but you're lucky. Leslie was a unique, special person. And she gave you, she gave all of us, some of her specialness. And all those things that she made you feel are inside you now. I can't. I don't want to do anything without her. Yes, you can. You just have to believe in yourself. Remember, what she gave you, you can give to other people now. Father, into thy hands I commend her spirit. Take care of her, Father. And Leslie, if you can hear me, I'm sorry. I'm coming. Help, Jesse, help me! Can you move at all? I can't. I'm coming to get you. Hang on, I'm not gonna let you fall. I promise. Okay, now give me your hand. Keep coming. Now give me your other one. Keep coming. Can you jump yet? Yes. on the Bible not to follow you, but I woke up this morning and you was gone. I had to do something. Just wanted to find you so you didn't get lonesome, but I was scared. Nothing to be ashamed of. Everybody gets scared once in a while. You weren't scared. Lord me, Bella is shaking like jello. Come on, I want to show you something. standing on tiptoes to see you. Me? Yes, you. There's a rumor going around that the beautiful young girl arriving today just might be the princess they've been waiting for. Princess? Yes, the princess of Terabithia. <laughs> 